welcome back to Fortnite Save the World. This is episode number 77 zero. Seven zero. That's a milestone. So thank you guys who've been watching the entire series. Or if you're just tuning in today for the first time and you enjoy what you see, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, and drop a like on the video. So just a quick refresher on the last episode, we found out that the band Steel Wool quite possibly are time travelers. I know that's kind of weird, but they were writing songs and the lyrics in the songs were their findings of the storm, all the data and stuff. However, they never completed the album, but in the last episode, we found completed albums and we found an album cover that had Ray on the cover of it, but she has zero recollection of ever being on the cover of a Steel Wool album. So there's obviously some time travel here. Someone from the future has sent back clues on how they can defeat the storm. However, we are missing one of the band members. That would be Carlos. So today we're gonna start a search for Carlos. And by Carlos, of course, I mean Anthony. Oops, my bad. Search old forts in a ghost town for Anthony. So we have to go to a 58 plus zone. And I think this will be the zone that we do it in today. I am completely out of hero XP, so that'll be helpful. I need some more epic perk up, so that'll be helpful. And gold, of course, because tonight in the shop, we've got ourselves a brand new launcher that's gonna be available. So we'll have a video on this launcher starting tomorrow, so you guys can figure out if you wanna spend your gold on it. But for now, we gotta go find Anthony. Let's go. So apparently we've gotta find Anthony in this ghost town. However, they said it's check forts, and I don't really know what a fort is in this game, but, but I have found some buildings that have cannons in them. And I'm going to assume that is exactly what we're looking for. So I need to go find some buildings, probably with cannons in them. You know what? That big tower over there might be a good place to start out. But let me kind of, we'll search the map going from like over this way. And then we'll work our way back that way. Also, today's mission is going to be a deliver the bomb mission which we have to transport a bomb from one side of the map to the other, and then we have to load it into a giant cannon and shoot it at the rift on the map, all while defending it from Huss. So that's a fun one to do. So that's what we'll be doing today. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a fort. Check it out. All right, let's go in here, see what happens. Ray, you gonna say anything? No. All right, fantastic. Fair enough. Oh, look, I found the, uh, I found the, uh, the big gun that we need to shoot the, uh, oh yeah, and there's the rift behind it. So there we go. Boom. We'll deploy this. I'll have to build a base around that, obviously, at some point. But that is one base, or one fort, rather. I wonder if there's multiple forts, or if I'm gonna have to go to three zones today, because that won't be okay. I want to just do one zone game. Not three. So I had mentioned in my previous video that I was helping some randoms do a mission and it sucked me into a mission called Enter, I think it was Enter the Portal or Enter the Rift or something like that, right? Probably Enter the Rift. And it took me to the boss fight for Candy Valley. So I was looking at my upcoming missions and at the end of Act 2, there's one called Enter the Rift. And I'm pretty sure that was the boss fight. So I actually think we are very close to doing the boss fight, much closer than I thought, because we're almost at the end of Candy Valley Act 2. So that boss fight stuff might be coming up a whole lot sooner than I had anticipated. So keep an eye out in your sub boxes for that video, because that one's going to be one you do not want to miss. That's going to be so much fun. I don't see any more forts, gang. This is going to be this is going to be one of these days where we have to go to three zones, I'm afraid. But for now, what I suggest we do is go ahead and get this uh, zone mission started and deliver this damn bomb. I need some blue glow to produce a bomb. So I think I need four blue glow for this. So let's kill this little gremlin monster. And then we can take it over to the armory and the armory will give us the bomb that we then need to transport over to the shooter, the gun, the cannon thing. It's cool, don't worry, I got this. Hey, we got a present too? Thank you for that. What are we gonna get? All right, give me the blue glow first. Give me the present, some brick. Actually, that's my lowest resource right now. So I will take it. All right, we need to go over to A. And I think we've got somebody playing with us. It's AFK maybe, because I keep seeing them die. Don't be that guy if you play this game. Don't come in and let everybody else do all the work. Why you just stand there and do nothing and put a rubber band on your controller and spin in circles and reap the rewards. That's what losers do. And hey, you guys aren't losers. Don't be a loser like this guy. If he is a loser, I might be speaking too soon, but I'm pretty sure he is. Nerve, 
underscore 23, you loser. Okay, we just put the, uh, I just deposited the blue glow. So now I have to make tracks from A all the way over to B uh, through this ghost town, which seems to be filled with husk. Wonderful. I'm just going to put that up really quick. And then let me see. There should be some tracks in my inventory somewhere. Where did you put them at? Ray? Oh, here they are. And now we begin. Put one there. Then I guess we're just going to go down this way. I think it's always probably best to start at B and then work your way back to A. But whatever. Here I am. And this is what we're doing. Sometimes these tracks don't want to lay. So excuse me if this takes a minute. I'm just going to cut straight through town here. Because I don't really know the best route. This is why you probably always want to start at B. And then maybe work your way back to A. Also, there could be someone right now over at B. Impossible. Building a defense. And when I get there, we might have to tear up some of his defense. Because my tracks have got to go in a specific part of B, right? So, another reason why it's always good to just start at B. That way you don't screw your teammates. But, I don't see any names over that way. I have a feeling I'm doing this solo today. So this is going to be lovely. Lots of traps coming up. And I might even use a defender or two for the first time, like, ever. You know, I don't use defenders very often. But even though there are three other people in here, I don't see anybody doing nothing, man. Oh, almost got the track complete. One more will do it. Boom. All right, cool. So yeah, I had to go around right here because the front side of the gun here, where you load in the bomb, is on this side. If I'd come around the back here, I wouldn't be able to be, I wouldn't be able to build a defense around the back because the track had to go there. So I'm gonna go ahead and build a defense around this now, and it's definitely gonna be out of metal because I have a bad feeling I'm doing this solo. Oh my god, I'm not doing it solo. Someone's transport, someone's transporting the bomb right now. All right. <laughs> Let me go over here and help him, I guess. Because that would... I don't know why they're doing it right now. We don't even have the defense set up on uh, B. When this bomb gets to B, they better not start it or we're dead. And we will have just wasted so much time in this video. But I'm glad someone is helping, so... That's good news. Come on, bomb. So as you see, there's a health meter on the bomb. We just got to keep it clear of husk. Looks like there's a husk spawner down that way, so... We're good. And there must be one down here, because that... Yeah, there is. With these boys... There we go. Some people like to build walls on both sides of their track all the way to B. I think that's a waste. I've never had the bomb destroyed, I don't think. Maybe the first time I ever did this mission I did. But all you gotta do is keep an eye on it. Gotta use your hover buddies and your bombs and your special abilities and you'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. I mean, as you can see, there's not even a lot of husk coming after it. There's another husk spotter coming up, I do see that. So they'll start spawning over there shortly. And that's what we'll have to watch out for. But for now, this is easy street. All right, here they come, probably. Any second now. Wait, is there one right here? I hear one. Oh, he's up in the house up there. Well, let him be. Let him be. Come on, bomb. Oh, and there's some husk spawns right here, too. Yeah, I don't know why they're not spawning them in. But this has been the easiest transport of the bomb I've ever had to do. This is crazy easy. Oh, here they come. Here they come. And then you see, we can just throw up a hover buddy, or in this case, I'm just going to shoot them because there's only a handful. And they're the little guys, which die super easy. Oh, but look, we got some coming from this way now. They're being sneaky now. We're almost there, though. We got this. Go, bomb, go. Oh, she's distracting them for me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Teamwork makes the dream work. We're almost there. All right, so this is going to load in, and then you have the option to start. You do not want to start. Shut up, bomb. Bob just took a little bit of damage. You're fine. But you do not want to start this until your defense is up. Because it's a short defense. I think it's like a three-minute defense. However, there's a lot of us that come out at once. So you definitely want to have some sort of defense up. So I'm going to keep working on that. And hopefully my teammates don't start it. Okay, I think I'm ready. I don't know if my teammates are going to come over here and help out. But uh, here's the base. Pretty basic build. Metal. Triangle top roof there out of brick. We got the uh, some traps going around the border here. You know, got an extra wall for protection in the form of stairs. And uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think I'm going to start it. And no one can stop me. Let me let me just see if I can get the team over here. Well, I started the launcher anyways. <laughs> Let's do it. I can do this all by myself. You see how many they throw at once? There's a lot that come at, the, at once. And then there's another spawn right behind me that they should all be coming from too. But my hover buddy's over there. Oh, they got sploders coming out already? That's not good. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. I've got this. I don't really know what gun I should be using. We'll have to wait to see what kind of husk we have, I guess. I got my fire, water, and 
nature all ready to go though, so. You ain't getting me, Husk. You ain't fooling me today. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Reload. I gotta say, some of my some of my guns are horrible with reload. Oh, here we go. We got two people over here. We're good now. No problem. They're not getting in. They're not getting in. This could be well defended too. We've only got three minutes to do this defense. Keep in mind, I've gotta go over to other um zones today because I still need to find two more of these forts. Anthony could be in any of them. Why is Anthony in a fort? I don't know. All right, I, why is that happening? Okay, God dang it. I wanted to switch to a melee weapon, go kill that uh, lobber over there, whatever he's called. Flinger, thrower, that guy. But uh, yeah, my game's not having any of that. Oh, we've got a boss. We got a boss, what do you do? He's a frenzied berserker. He's taking all kinds of damage just from my fire gun, so. I'm gonna keep shooting it. Or maybe it's my teammate doing it. I don't know, someone's getting a lot of damage on him. Let's just fry him, man. Yeah, he's dead. Give me, get, oh, we got an evolution cache there. That's good. Cause that could have drops of rain in it. Which is exactly what I always want. I always want me some drops of rain. Because of course, if you play this game, you know the drops of rain are super important for leveling up your characters, your heroes rather, and your guns and your traps and all kind of stuff so drops of rain are like one of the most important things in this game if you ask me there's plenty of missions that allow you to earn some but uh hey if i get some free ones i will take it only a minute and a half left on this defense we got a hover buddy out there that just appeared out of thin air i just heard it spawn in but there's literally nobody over there so that was weird like that do you have an invisibility cloak is that is that a new thing that heroes can do how did that happen by the way, I did get a new hero. Uh, she's not new, but it's the uh, Earhart uh, hero. She's not new. She's been around in the shop for a few weeks, at least, I would say. But I picked her up because she can put down a gun turret Sorry. that you can sit on and shoot zombies as one of her special abilities. So I picked her up, but she's only a power level 52 at the moment, so she's not ready for one of my videos yet. But we'll use her pretty soon because that just sounds like fun. Like, imagine right now me sitting in a turret just picking off these zombies that would be so much fun 41 seconds left i think that might build may have been a bit much but better safe than sorry i always say but what are you gonna do what are you planning on doing you're gonna break into that with a refrigerator door i don't think so by the way it sucks when you're this close to those rifts because it sucks your uh it sucks your energy level down the orange bar that's how i use all my special abilities right and then it starts sucking down your shield and everything else, too. It's a horrible thing. But you gotta do battle right next to it sometimes. You just gotta deal with it. Get out of here, you. And that's a win. Take that, Riff. Nothing actually comes out of the cannon. But take that. I'm gonna go check all these other forts, guys. This may be a fort. I see some cannons surrounding it. Let me go in here. It was a fort. Alright, that's two out of three. And still... No dialogue from Ray or anybody telling me what's going on. So I think the third one will probably get a little dialogue in it. Hopefully there's a second one in this zone. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the third and final fort. And Ray said nothing. So that's cool. We'll go back to home base. And I'm sure we'll get some story then on why we were just searching forts for Anthony anyway. So... Let me get out of this zone. I'll see you guys back at home base. Lars, what do you see? Pieces of his bike scattered everywhere. Where's Carlos? He's gone. What was that? You're gonna wanna see this little robot. Uh-oh, wonder what's going on there. Sounded like some sort of portal opened up. So I don't know if Carlos, Anthony, which one, who are we looking for again? Whoever went into the portal or came out of a portal. But I feel like there's a portal going on here. We're heading in now, Lars. Wanna tell me what we're looking for? I think I know what's been causing these little hiccups. You're gonna have to see for yourself. What? They didn't tell us nothing. All we know is that we still don't have the dude we're looking for. But the next mission is called In Through the Out Rift. In Through the Out Rift. Don't know what that means. But we gotta find rifts in a 58 plus zone. Now, like I was saying earlier, I am pretty sure we're actually closer to the boss fight than I thought. And I think the name of that mission 
is into the rift, not in through out rift. So let's see where that one is. Yeah, it looks like through the rift. I, Guys, I think this is it right here, but don't quote me on that. But it looks like we are one, two, three, four, five. Five missions away. We get to skip Canny Valley Defense 4 because I've done all the way through like eight. So we're good on those. So I think pretty sure we're like four or five episodes away from the boss fight. And then we go to Canny Valley Act 3. So I don't know. I might be completely wrong. But hopefully you enjoyed today's video. We learned absolutely nothing. I have wasted everyone's time. I'd like to go ahead and apologize for that. And maybe tomorrow will be a little bit more exciting. Because tomorrow, don't forget, we're checking out that new launcher. We're going to be testing it out. I'm going to level it up to a power level 106, I believe. And we'll see how it is. So until then, hopefully you dudes have a good day. And as always, it's been your boy Lagan24. And I will see you uh, next time.